Hi everyone, it's Carrie over at Double Click. Welcome back to my craft room. Today I'm sharing another Timu haul. A couple of fun different items this time. I picked up their thousand count wax pellet for wax seals. It did come in a large bag and I will insert a picture here. Of I decided to sort it out by color so when I'm using them, I could easily just select the color that I wanted. up what I could in this organizer. These are the extra colors that didn't fit. So we have a lot of these darker blues, a small handful of these lighter ones, even smaller of these kind of teal blue, small of the brown and a very small of the black. I mixed all the greens because there wasn't very many of those. Just a few of the orange, a small mixture of the pink. There was hardly any yellows or clears and the purple ones. It was a good variety. I did use the blue and the pink to Today and I do like how they melted. I did sort them out in this organizer that I also picked up from Timu. Here it is in the plastic. I know it's going to be super shiny, but I'll give you the dimensions off of this one. I have the lid off. It is eight and three quarters by five. Really like about this case is it's only one inch, not even. This is really great for stacking. You can just stack a whole bunch. The dividers are not removable, which I really like because then you know nothing is going to switch little boxes on you. The wax melts for the bag was $9.48. These boxes, I paid $1.18. When I originally had them in my cart, they were 98 cents, and I think they've gone up again. This time I decided to get a wax melting pot. It did come with a spoon. This was $3.99. I picked up this snowflake wax seal, which was, this wax seal was 89 cents, and so was the swan one. They both came with the handles. Here's how they turned out. This is the swan, and here is the snowflake. I used, I think, 10 melts on this one, and I tried six on this one. So this one wasn't enough, and this was too much. So probably eight to do a good wax seal. I also used this gold paint to outline the embossed part of the wax seal. I will put a clip in right here of me making these wax seals. <music> up some beading items because I recently picked up a beading tool. These are some of the bronze caps. These were a dollar seven and I believe there is 50 in this bag. Picked up these gold caps and these were 98 cents. These are really big ones. Here are the caps in the silver. Those were also 98 cents. Picked up these spacers. I think that's what these are. Oh, these are in a the little bag. They're more fancier. They have 
some bling on the sides. These were $1.48. I think there's 50 in there as well. I picked up these ones. These were $1.19. I picked up these tulip caps. They are so cute. Come in a variety of colors. And these were only 79 cents. Yep variety of those. I also picked up these, I think they're head pins. They are a decent length. They're a little bit shorter than some of the ones that I already have. There was a hundred of these and these were $1.18. Picked up these cute beads. They're so fun. There was 50 of them in here. These beads were 98 cents. That was a great price for these. I also picked up a package of pear pins. There's a hundred in here and there's a variety of colors. This is how I usually attach my ribbons or my charms and beads to things. This package of pear pins was only 99 cents. And this I had in my cart for a while and then it kept getting sold out. And finally it was back in my cart and I was able to pick those up. Moving on to the last of the items. I picked up this star die. This was $1.08. It came with the background that you can have it as a charm, the shaker part, and the base. This is how it turned out. It cut so well. I'm not great at doing shakers. Actually, I think this is my second one ever. I did use the foam in between. I adhered the charm part on the back. This is super fun. This measures in at an inch and three quarters and it's super cute great deal on that definitely would recommend then we have this owl die this one was 98 cents here she is cut out she measures just about two inches and just so you know everything is separate so you have to attach her little dress to the back of her head, the arms onto her dress, her little feet onto her dress. It is very cute. This would be a great project for an ATC card, even a twin sheet, because she comes in right at two inches. She's very cute. up these last two this is the bunny on the stool he was 99 cents and this was the lavender this was 59 cents and let me show you how they cut out here is the lavender it is so pretty I did paper pierce this I first did it in brown and then in purple and just snipped the end 
They are so sweet. They cut really nice for how thin they are. They are about four inches. Very delicate. These will make great background pieces. Really happy with that one. The bunny one, how cute is this? He's sitting on the stool. It cut wonderful. I did do some outlining in black for his features. Coming in just at three inches super cute that is my timu haul thank you guys so much for stopping by and have a great day